Hi, I'm Colin from HG Anywhere, and today we'll be unboxing the XTND 2K150. Eagle eyes of you will notice that we have updated the packaging. Really nice, really swish and minimal. Let's just open the box. Love that move. So the first thing you'll find is your instruction manual. Loads of little um, handy tips. A diagram for your case scenarios, especially with your infrareds. Pop that there. Then we've got your power supply, XTND. You've got your TX here. Then your RX. Go to a distance of up to 150 meters at 1080p. Let's pop this off. So here you'll find your RS232 connectors. I'll show you that more later. Then you've got your mounts. Got your infrared cables. So this is your um, receiver cable. You'll have two of these. Then you've got your transmitter cable. Again, two of them. Then you'll have your regional plug sockets. So let's have a closer look at the, um, the TX itself, shall we? So at the front you'll find the power light, this just to let you know it's on. Here you'll find your power input. Then you'll find your HD base T output, your HDMI in, your HDMI out for your remote TV. It's a special feature of this XDND set where you can have two displays connected but one close to the TX itself. Then you've got your IR in and out. So this one here is your out, the little bud and that will go, say, near your skybox with the TX. So then that way you can control from the RX, but I'll show you that a bit later. Then you have got IR receiver, and this will go into here. And this way, this is really handy. You can control your um, projector or TV on the other end of the cable. Um, really handy for if you've got a long haul or something and you can't get to a projector, for instance. Now onto the RX, um, the receiver end of things, you've got your power input. Now the thing is, this is power over infinite, so you don't actually need to um, hook this up, but it's here just in case um, with regulations you can't put power through the HD base T itself. Here you have got your um, HD base T um, input, okay. Then you've got your HDMI out, so this will connect to your projector or display. Then you, again, you've got your infrared in and out. So these little babies go into there. And you've got the um, RS232. And there's more information in the manual about this one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.